So the Lord has some information for you today, maybe to help you, if not with yours, or maybe with someone else's children, or maybe in your own life, to help you understand the desire of the Lord. Now you have your desire. You know what you want the Lord to do. Ain't, ain't that right? Y'all yeah, yeah, don't? You got certain things. You want the Lord. You got desires on your heart. You want the Lord to intervene. But do you really know what the Lord desires of you? What does he desire of you? You know, many of us put it in the simple form and says, well, I accepted the Lord in my life and he wants me to follow him. And you know, to some people, it's a very difficult task to follow the Lord. I don't want it to, to make it seem like I don't believe in that. I want you to understand that the Lord has says he knows it's hard for you to follow what you can't see. And I'm not talking about in a physical manner. I am telling you, when you can't see him spiritually, it's hard for you to follow. Amen, amen. You know, one of those things that Jesus said in his word, he says, my sheep know my voice. But do you? Is it heavy voice? Is it high tone voice? Just what kind of voice does he have? Amen. See? When you ask people, what's he sound like? Then you get them looks you're giving me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but he says, my sheep know my voice. And if that voice has been taught to them at an early age, they will know. It is amazing. I look at the been blessed here with six grandchildren. And I think my children have said, that's all you're going to be blessed with too. <laughs> but it's funny that when they were babies, young, I'm talking about real young, um, I can make a certain sound and they will look like the one that's here, the baby Daniel, when he was coming around before he was even a year old, I used to do this ba 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 and he would smile and look, and then he could be somewhere in there, and I'd just start ba 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 ba. And he knew that voice. He didn't know anything about who I was, you know, but he recognized the voice. Because at an early age, I started doing it to him. I just started doing that voice. And if you really think about it, you were the same way with all your children. You know, just because you talk to them, they recognize your voice. It doesn't matter if you talk to him in your sweet voice. Really here? Oh, no. That was the other guy. So sorry. <laughs> doesn't matter if you talk to him in your loud voice. Come here, baby. <laughs> doesn't matter what voice you use. They recognize your voice. May not understood what you were saying, but they recognize your voice. And I think that's one of the problems we're having and today in our Christian walk is that we have not understood his voice let alone what he's saying. Hello somebody. See I think we got to the point where some of us are striving to understand him but we don't really know when he's calling or speaking. Amen. Amen. We're not sure when he's speaking to us. You know. But when you can get that voice down, then the rest follows. 
the knowledge follows. The understanding will follow. But first, you need to know his what? You need to know his voice. You really need to know his voice. And I'm going to tell you, his voice is pretty simple. The same tone, I really believe. It's called his word. That's his voice. And y'all know how often we get into his word. Don't tell nobody. He already knows. But it's hard to get his voice down when you're not around him that often. You don't hear his word that often. So let's get into this and pray that you understand what the Lord is saying through Pastor Walker today. If you're moved to support this ministry, you can do so through Cash App at dollar sign Living Witness MC or through Tithely on our website at livingwitnessmissionarychurch.com. Click on the gift in the top right corner of the homepage. Thank you for watching and God bless.